Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate. Maybe you're taking a little bit of extra time these days to improve your battle station, and one of the best tools you can add to your setup is the Firecuda Gaming Dock, a first of its kind docking station designed specifically for gamers. Let's get inside. The Firecuda Gaming Dock is Seagate's first, scratch that, the gaming industry's first ever docking station with integrated external storage. The Gaming Dock looks incredible as an attractive centerpiece to your gaming battle station with all your peripherals docked together. It's got enough ports to support two monitors via DisplayPort and Thunderbolt 3. USB 3.1 ports to connect peripherals like keyboards, your mouse, your webcam, and headphones. It's got a 3.5 millimeter audio in and out for mics and speakers, and even a powered USB 3.1 port up front for charging your phone. And it also has a wired ethernet port for faster ping times and Wi-Fi. It's truly an all-encompassing docking station, but it's not just that. The gaming dock comes with an internal 4 terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive also making your dock a storage expansion device. If that's not enough, you can add even more storage with an integrated, expandable M.2 NVMe SSD upgrade slot. And it wouldn't be a true gaming dock without a built-in LED strip and full RGB and pattern control. Every part of this device was thought through and designed with care for all types of gamers. So let's dive into the setup process. When using this as a docking station, connect all your devices before plugging in the Firecuda gaming dock to your power source. In our setup, you'll see we have two monitors. Our first monitor is connected to the display port and our second monitor is connected to the Thunderbolt peripheral port. The Firecuda gaming dock is display port 1.4 compatible and supports MST or multi stream transport. This means that two DisplayPort monitors can be daisy chained using the gaming dock's single port, but only if the first monitor in the chain supports MST. Connect the rest of your peripherals, connect your gaming dock to your power source, and finally, connect the dock to your laptop with the supplied Thunderbolt 3 cable. It's important to note that your computer will need to support Thunderbolt 3 if you want to get the full functionality of the gaming dock. A standard USB-C cable will plug into the gaming dock. However, if it isn't equipped with Thunderbolt 3, you won't achieve full bandwidth and speed. From here, power up and follow the approval and installation prompts. If you're installing on a Windows machine, you should see a Start Here button in your File Explorer. Click that and then follow the registration prompts. Next. Make sure to download and install Toolkit. This is the Gaming Docs control app that allows you to manage the drive, update firmware, set auto backups, and adjust its RGB color. For full LED control of your Gaming Dock, just launch the Toolkit app after download and the Gaming Dock should appear on the home page. Click on your device and you should see a pattern brightness bar and an on off status button. To the right, you'll notice an edit icon. Click this for even more control. The edit window allows you to adjust the light pattern, whether solid, blinking, or anything else you can think of, as well as the colors that you want displayed. And even if you want the LEDs to sleep when the display is asleep, just click done when you've made your choices and your gaming dock will immediately reflect your new color patterns. Since the gaming dock is also a fully functioning external storage device, you can take advantage of the integrated four terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. Whether it's used for larger game libraries, captured video streams, or any other type of secondary storage, your computer will recognize it just as it would any other storage device. If you want to take advantage of the blazing speed of SSD or set up an external drive to boot your games from, the gaming dock also comes with an available M.2 NVMe SSD slot. We've actually got another episode dedicated to that installation process, which we'll link to. Your computer should recognize the additional storage device and you're free to format and partition as needed. If you do install an SSD into the gaming dock's expansion slot, you may want to consider putting the process heavy games that you're currently playing on that SSD and then get the rest of your gaming library and put that on the integrated internal four terabyte hard drive. 
Game and level load times are substantially faster on an SSD versus a traditional hard drive. We even have a past video breaking down the speed differences between the types of drives that we'll link to. And when you're ready to take your gaming elsewhere, safely eject the gaming dock like any other external storage device. Disconnect your Thunderbolt 3 cable and you're ready to go. All right, that's enough for one video. If you're looking for more information on drive options, speed tests, or PC builds, check out some of our other videos. Feel free to leave a question or thought in the comments section down below. And until next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.